Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit. and we'll do the usual starting with the dixie i'm sorry today guys for a late uh, video i've had um, a bit of a rough night last night <laughs> it's been fun actually we had a great night so i had to sleep a little bit more today anyway um dixie guys we're still um, in a bearish momentum after the retest of this uh, previously uh, structure here that i mentioned in my uh, previous weekly overview we've been talking about this uh, area to be in a uh, maybe retested and having uh, issues at the area here for the bulls and uh, checking the four hour time frame they tried so many times here and um, at the end they failed and we've got the break to the downside on thursday then friday we've got the nfp news release which came very very bad for the dollar and that's why we've had this very strong push to the downside so if we check back on the weekly here you see that the next key area is uh, down here at around these levels and we have this old level down here as well if uh, this structure here will be taken out uh, next week so still uh, bearish momentum is the winning uh, play here and um, on the four hour time frame what we should be doing for next week is waiting for a little bit of a correction some kind of a consolidation something maybe like this and then a break back down um yeah so give it a little bit of time let it do a little bit of a correction uh, and then um, start looking to uh, sell those rallies on the dollar that is my main idea here that's why i'm watching uh, for uh, next week gold uh, doing the opposite of gold uh, of uh, us dollar so going higher higher highs higher lows broke a key structure last week thursday uh, was a nice break to the upside and we've got a follow-up on friday so the weekly time frame is looking good again and i think the market objective is to reach that monthly or two up here a retest of this previously broken structure so even here on gold on the lower time frame you need to wait for a little bit of a correction maybe a retest of this broken structure would be something uh, good to watch for looking for this some kind of a correction back down here and then maybe further upside from this area that would be a nice level to watch uh, for gold uh, bulls uh, to enter the market oil also um, doing good so far so we've had um, a nice break to the upside then uh, three days corrections so far i'm looking to see if this will be now the end of this correction and then uh, maybe further upside um, on oil so <clears throat> that's what i'm watching uh, for uh, for next week this previous structure here is key for now so if that hold again we might see a further upside from here or potentially already after this uh, nice bullish engulfing candle you might see a little bit of a continuation here so keep an eye where the price is at the moment this area could be a good uh, bullish level here uh, if we see a break like this next week above these previous highs maybe we could look for a retest and then further upside so bullish on oil as far as the dollar is doing badly as it looks right now euro usd so um, nice push to the upside friday was a huge candle checking the weekly time frame here we had actually a break above this previous high and looking left we have not much on the way until we reach this area once again this previously um, uh, structure that been tested might get tested once again so on the weekly the momentum is nice to the upside daily we've had this uh, strong move here correction and now a continuation with a break above previous high so i'm looking for the further upside here but be a little bit careful here you do not need to buy it where it is right now because this might act as um, an area of resistance yeah it's been a little bit of a trouble here previously so you don't need to rush uh, to enter this 
um, maybe we look for a little bit of a correction back down and then further upside from uh, that dip that is something to to look for next week or waiting for some kind of a bullish flag or something like that you don't need to buy it at resistant at all okay so that's what i'm watching for uh, euro usd sterling jap uh, sterling usd sorry still inside this range so we had this double bottom we've got a, a push back up again to then start correcting to the downside we never got uh, all the way down so there was uh, some support found at around monthly pivot point here and then we had um, um, three days correction to then get another push to the upside on friday after that nfp release so right now um the sterling is at a um, resistance level yeah so um, it is not uh, the best idea here to buying before a breakout so if you want to buy this you either wait for a breakout then look for a retest and further continuation because if that would be the case and we get a breakout the next target gonna be these previous highs okay this is uh, something that you could do another thing that you could do is to wait for a little bit of a correction yeah so the market is now trading at uh, monthly r1 uh, could be a target we might see a little bit of correction or a dip back down inside this range yeah and if that would be the case and we see the price back at uh, monthly pivot point down here then potentially we might look for a little bit uh, of a bullish momentum here and uh, a push to the upside so those are the two scenarios i'm looking for for next week here usd jappy so we do have now a major lower high and uh, we had this and we have now a um, potential uh, head and shoulder formation uh, but all in all no matter if it is a head and shoulder or not what's important here that the previous move was a break of this structure and now we have a lower high so we could start some kind of a move to the downside a bigger move to the downside could start here especially after establishing this lower high so short term i would say uh, for next week maybe wait for a little bit of a correction a retest of this previously broken structure then look for further downside uh, toward monthly s1 <clears throat> at around 107.50 area that could be uh, the target or these lows down here on uh, usd jappy USD uh, chief also uh, bearish the con the momentum to the downside continues and we had a break above the below this previous structure we see the market <coughs> close at the lows also almost below this structure here so there is not much to do more than looking for <coughs> uh, those correction back up and then further downside uh, on this market that's what i'm watching so this previously broken structure could be a good level to watch so i i will watch that area to see if we're gonna get some kind of a correction back up toward that level next week early maybe monday or tuesday to then look for further downside from this area on usd chief usd cad same scenario broke lower checking the weekly time frame we are now trading below this support also testing this previous uh, level here and the next objective could be all the way down here so it is time now to extend this blue mo uh, uh, level here because it might get in play now as a potential market objective now keep in mind you had this previous uh, weekly swing here as well down here might act also as a potential uh, short-term support but i think this level is more um, of uh, interest for the bears uh, to get profit to take profit at so checking the daily we saw we had this consolidation and then a break back down so even here the main idea is to look for those corrections uh, back up to then look for a continuation to the downside so something like this maybe and then we look for further downside on um, usd cad a retest of this structure here could be a good uh, level to uh, play at also usd broke out of the range checking the daily time frame you see that we have a break and close above these previous highs above this high as well so this uh, range here is now broken and we might see further upside from here so next week if the price uh, give us a correction back down i will look for potential continuation to the upside also by the dip is the main idea here on uh, aussie usd
New Zealand USD um, also um, uh, been uh, bullish at the end of the week, but this one did not break uh, structure yet. So we're still uh, trading below these levels uh, and these levels are key for now. But looking at what's going on on Aussie, New Zealand, uh, Aussie USD, we might see the New Zealand USD doing the same following that um, breakout we had on Aussie so I'm also expecting this uh, potentially to break out but uh, first I want to see a little bit of a correction then if this price hold at this uh, previous structure we're looking for uh, potentially more upside from that area so that is my play for this on next week uh, I will wait and see if we if I gonna get some kind of a correction and then maybe something like this and then further upside from this area that would be uh, the plan on New Zealand USD for me for next week and uh, that will end this uh, video for this week guys thanks a lot see you next Sunday bye bye